Marcello Ormonti. During the German occupation, he lived with his parents in a small suburb of Rotterdam. Was orphaned when he was five years old. Interned in several German concentration camps until the war's conclusion. Adopted one year later by the Count Armanti and brought to Italy to live. <laughs> Colonel Channing Capwell enlisted in the Army Air Corps as a pilot. Flew 16 successful missions over enemy territory until his plane was shot down in the outskirts of Rotterdam. Rotterdam? lived with his parents in a small suburb of Rotterdam. Operator, I want information in Bermuda. I'm going to get them back, Eden, one way or another. Get your hands off me. I'll give them to you. Now don't ever touch me again. I have no reason to touch you. These are all that I wanted. You know, I'm glad I searched your room, so all this could be out in the open now. What out in the open? That you're a thief? No, your obsession with my father. Oh, leave the psychological jargon to me, would and you? his involvement in World War II. How very dramatic. But what could this obsession be? I don't know. I don't know what it is you're hiding. Be sensible, Eden. I was a baby during the war. What possible connection could I have with Colonel Capwell? I don't know. It must be some coincidence. Like the coincidence that you arrived in Santa Barbara 16 years ago? I think you're a very dangerous man, and I don't want you near my father. And I definitely don't want you near my sister. Can you answer that? No. I'll answer it. Hello? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm looking for a Ms. Eden Capwell. Uh, she wasn't in a room, or her sister's room, and the desk clerk said I might find her at this extension. No, I'm sorry. Uh, she's not here. Is that you, Marcello? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, uh, this is Cruz, Doc. Uh, do you know where Eden is? No, uh, no, I think she's out somewhere. I, I really don't know. Who was that? Uh, do me a favor, will you? If, if you see her, tell her I'm trying to reach her. It's real important. Yes, yes, of course I will. Goodbye. Who was that, Marcella? It didn't concern you. Now, listen to me, Eden. If you're going to make accusations against me, you are going to look like a great fool. Because I am a respected psychiatrist with an international reputation. I have treated your mother and your sister successfully, as well as many, many others, and they'll both attest to that. Even your father, when he sees Kelly, will be astonished by her progress. Well, I don't know what it is, but you're doing something awfully wrong. Why? Why were you asking me for my father's World War II records and his files? Why do you have my father's dog tags? Because Colonel Keppel was a hero during the war. He was involved in heroic exploits, some of which I heard about when I was a boy in Europe. I found those dog tags at an auction of war memorabilia, and I bought them. What an amazing coincidence. Yes, probably, but it's true. Yes, I had an ulterior motive in buying them, just as I had one, and wanted to read his war records. Are you going to finally tell me the truth? <laughs> yes, and it's not such a simple truth, you'll be ashamed when you hear it. I wanted to read up your father's war experiences in case it got to a certain delicate point in those merger negotiations between Armonte Industries and Capital Enterprises. I wanted to, to soften him up by flattering him. A very simple ploy, very human and very understandable, I should think. As far as those dog tags are concerned, I was going to present them to him as a gift if and when the merger came through. Now, can you tell me what is so wrong about any of that? I don't believe you for a minute. Not any of it. You've been hostile to me since we first met. I think it's time that I give up on you. Eden, I don't care what you believe. Whatever it is you're doing, I plan on stopping. For the last time, there is nothing to stop. But if there were, if there were, I wouldn't allow anyone on Earth to get in my way. <laughs>